If I want to sketch the solution to these systems of inequality, this system of inequalities, I want to first sketch these two inequalities as if they were just lines. The big difference is, is they won't be, um, they will be dotted lines instead of solid lines because these are open inequalities. Okay, so what I'm going to do is rewrite each of these equations in uh, slope-intercept form to make it a little easier to graph them. Okay, so I want to subtract 3x from both sides. So I get 7y is less than negative 3x plus 35. Then I want to divide both sides by 7. So I have y is less than negative 3x over 7 plus 5. Okay, so this is my y-intercept and this is my slope. So I'm going to go up to 5 and then I need to go down 3 and over 7. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so um, I'm going to also do up 3 and over 7, but in the opposite direction. So 1, 2, 3, well, I could just go to negative 7. There we go. So I just need to draw a dotted line through those points and I'll try to draw it as straight as I can. Okay, so that represents the first inequality, this one here. Okay, so let's try the next one. 12x plus 7y is greater than negative 28. Okay, so I just need to subtract 12x from both sides. So I get 7y is greater than negative 12x minus 28. And then I need to divide both sides by 7 again. So y is greater than negative 12 over 7x minus 4. Okay, so this is my slope and this is my y-intercept. Okay, so I go down to negative 4 and I, since my slope is negative 12 over 7, I can't go down 7, so I can't have a negative I'm sorry, I can't go down uh, 12, so I can't have a negative rise. So what I'm going to do is make the rise positive and the run negative. Okay, so I'm going to go up 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then to the left 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So right here. And I'm just going to have to try to make this as straight as possible. I got a little curved there, but okay. So the other reason why it's important to have it in slope-intercept form is you can kind of tell more easily which area needs to be shaded. This is saying all the y's that are less than this. So we're looking for all the area below this line that is blue, okay? And this one is saying all the y's that are greater than that. So this one, let me, is the one above the grade. So the area where those two intersect is going to be the area that I need to shade in. So I'm going to erase this now because we can see that it's this piece in here. And this is the part that I'm going to need to shade in here. Okay. 